The allure of the Mediterranean and its people has captivated the world's soul. Aside from its beautiful views, unique cuisines, and original lifestyles, the Mediterranean is a place that is constantly evolving its priceless gift to the world. The Mediterranean Sea and seven member states make up this biogeographical zone. It has distinct characteristics, such as a hot, dry summer climate and humid, chilly winters, and a mainly mountainous environment. The Mediterranean has diverse biodiversity, but it also boosts a high number of species that are found nowhere else. The summers are hot and dry, and the winters are humid and cool. It can also be unpredictable, with heavy rain or strong winds like the Sirocco and Mistral. This climate has a significant impact on the region's plants and wildlife. The Mediterranean is remarkably steep for an area named for the sea it borders. Because the Mediterranean region was spared from the last ice age, its animals and environments are unique. Human activities have put a lot of strain on the area. It is the world's most popular tourist attraction. In this video, we will be discussing about the Mediterranean and will be answering the following questions that arise in everyone's minds. Did the Mediterranean Sea ever exist as a desert? What's the connection of the Mediterranean with the Atlantic Ocean? Do mega floods occur every year? The Mediterranean Sea's tranquil turquoise waters conceal a salty secret, a two-mile-thick coating of salt lying deep beneath the basin. The ghostly white minerals are a few remnants of a long-gone Mediterranean Sea. Some experts believe the entire sea evaporated for some time, becoming dry like the Sahara Desert to the south. However, the details of the sea's disappearance and the torrents of the water that flooded the basin remain mysterious, even after decades of research. The overflowing of the Mediterranean about 5 million years ago could have been the most significant flood in the history of the planet. According to one estimate, the water cascade that flooded the cavernous basin was 500 times larger than the Amazon River's flow. It was a sensational thing, says Daniel Garcia Castellanos of the Institute of Earth Sciences Wame Almira in Spain. In a recent study, Garcia Castellanos and his colleagues discovered a pocket of particles that the mega flood may have deposited. The Mediterranean as we see it now would not exist without this dramatic reconnection with the Atlantic Ocean. Ships could not have intersected the watery highway to provide fuel to the diverse cultures dotted on its shorelines since the dawn of civilization. Today, the Mediterranean Sea serves as a critical water pump for the entire world. Evaporation fills its waters with an extra dosage of salt, which pours into the Atlantic and aids in operating oceanic conveyor belts that circle the globe, impacting temperatures, thunderstorm patterns, and other factors. So as global temperatures rise and ice caps melt at the poles, Rachel Flecker, a geologist at the University of Bristol, thinks it's quite blooming crucial to understand what events led to the planet we see now. The Mediterranean Sea's million cubic miles of water are currently evaporating at 4 feet per year. Rain and rivers are insufficient to keep the system afloat. The only water supply for the body is a regular flow from the Atlantic Ocean, which flows via the Strait of Gibraltar, a narrow waterway between Spain and Morocco. Tectonic movements far beneath the surface may have pushed the ground higher millions of years ago, limiting the Mediterranean-Atlantic connection. Although water proceeded to flow into the basin, the shift cut off the only way for intense saline currents running down the basin floor to enter the open sea. Salts began to accumulate some 6 million years ago to fill nearly 50 Great Pyramids of Giza for each of the world's 7.7 .7 billion inhabitants. According to some studies, the area had almost dried out before the flood, creating a vast basin that dipped more than a mile below present sea level. It's possible that all that stood between the empty basin and the enormous Atlantic was a short spit of land where the Gibraltar Strait now stands. 5.3 million years ago, a great flood broke the gap and linked the ocean and the sea. However, just as the amount of the flood is debatable, so is the magnitude of the Mediterranean's drying. With little evidence, Garcia Castellanos and his colleagues doubted how quickly an empty Mediterranean basin could fill. As per their models from a 2009 study, a breach began as a trickle across the natural dam that connects modern-day Europe and Africa. However, erosion took control shortly. As the water level rose, it carved out a deeper path, allowing even more water to travel through. The flood may have reached 1 million cubic meters per second at its peak, filling the sea in two years or less. Such an event would have dug enough silt to fill 400 million Olympic swimming pools, carved a route across the Strait of Gibraltar, and carved a canyon onto the sea floor. 
The calamity reshaped the entire landscape, moving not just water, but also fragments of stone, sand, and anything else that got in its way. Floods of this magnitude were unthinkable to geologists in the 1800s. They needed proof from the present mechanisms to prove that an old event might have happened. The problem is, big, giant floods are rare, Baker says. Mega floods don't occur every year, or even every million years. Like the cataclysmic Chicxulub asteroid hit that forever transformed life on Earth. Experts began researching the Mediterranean's past in the 1950s when they discovered salt deposits on the coasts, indicating a very briny ancient sea. Researchers on board the Gloma Challenger dug cores from the sea floor in the 1970s, enabling them to see the salty remains of this turbulent period in the sea's history for the first time. According to Ryan, when left to roast in the sun, characteristics resembling a mudflats fractured surface were discovered embedded in the upper layers of salt indicating that waters may not have constantly been swirling above. However, the exact amount of water that vanished from the Mediterranean, and for how long, is still a point of contention. Many scholars have dipped their toes into the confusing waters over the years, and the more information accumulates, the more complicated the issue becomes. According to Woot Krigsman, a geologist at the Utrecht University in the Netherlands, animal fossils found throughout the basin attest to a Mediterranean nearly full of water just before it rejoined the Atlantic. Before the flood, the area may have been a shrinking sea rather than a desert. Where all the sediment went is one of the primary problems Garcia Castellanos and others have sought to address. 240 cubic miles of silt would have been spread across the Mediterranean basin, gathering in low-flow areas. However, the sediments deposited long before people arrived in the area are now buried beneath the seafloor. Researchers employ a process similar to geologic ultrasonography to find the old hints, transmitting seismic waves from a boat to the Mediterranean's bottom and monitoring the echoes. A pocket of boulders and sand, possibly deposited by the flood, was uncovered just east of the line that divides the western and eastern basins. In addition, Garcia Castellanos and his colleagues believe they've discovered another sediment deposit in the shape of a stony tail, extending behind an undersea volcano by searching through historical seismic data. The pockets of sediment are exciting finds, but because they haven't been sampled, scientists aren't sure when they occurred, according to Flecker. However, answers may be on the way shortly. Flecker and his colleagues plan to drill other locations across the Mediterranean in search of more clues to these pivotal geologic events. Facts about the Mediterranean 22 countries share the Mediterranean Sea. Within the sea, there are two different island states. The Mediterranean Sea contains nearly 3,000 islands. It has the two biggest islands, both of which are Italian. The Mediterranean Sea is made up of a slew of smaller bodies of water. It has a population of almost 15 million people. It was completed in less than two years. The Mediterranean has been around for over 5 million years. The total amount of water is 3.7 million cubic kilometers. The Romans ruled it for 400 years. Its name translates to Earth Center. The East has a higher salt content than the West. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you want to get updated about our newest videos, click the notification bell to never miss one. Stay tuned to this channel till the next video, and until then, 